Hi everyone, John B. Man Saunders here. Update on the queen cells and the uh, Virgin Queens. We're at quite a nice isolated location for one of my hives here. You can see all these wild flowers that come up. It's just amazing. It's so peaceful and nice where I am. And just up right over there, you can just make it out, is uh, the hive I'm going to. That's one of the four uh, virgin queens that we hatched out. So we're going to check that first to see whether the virgin queen has flown off, got mated, come back and is laying eggs. And then once we've checked that, I'll take you down to the other apiary where I've got the other three little nukes and we're checking there and see whether those virgin queens have gone out and got mated. It could be disappointing but sometimes with beekeeping it does work out like that. Thing is, don't panic, keep smiling and don't give up. So here we go then, we'll have a little look. There we are, I've already given them a little bit of smoke and uh, see how we get on. It's a little bit overcast today but it's about 15 degrees so there's no wind so we should be alright. These are two supers which have already taken off a little while ago and got all the all seed rape out of there and uh, by the weight of them there's about 15 pound of honey in there Lynn. Good. And we placed it with what we just took off so that's one thing. Now we're going to see whether or not we've got eggs. We probably won't find the queen because there's quite a few bees in here, so. Well, as there wasn't a queen for quite a while, because I used it for growing queen cells, the, the numbers have diminished, Lynn, look. Haven't mm. they? Yes. Make sure there ain't a queen on there. There isn't. We have a little bit of smoky then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, numbers have diminished quite a bit. That's to expect it when you haven't had a queen for some time. Here we go. We'll look, see if we've got. We go straight down through into nearer the middle. See what we've got. We've got nectar in there, loads of it. We've got nectar in there, absolutely full of nectar. We've got some old queen cells here which I'll get rid of. Just while I'm at it. There, look. They're old ones. There's a cone I'll put in there where to replace where I had the queen cells before and they've grown cone of their own. And that's where I would expect eggs if you've got a queen in there. But um doesn't look like it Lynn. No. I might have to put a queen in there. Have a look. I'm looking this one. This has got all nectar in it. Mm. Nectar. That 
looks a bit more promising, but we'll get into the, I've got to get into the <coughs> sunlight. Oh, there's the queen. It is. We've got the queen in, and it is laying. Where is she, John? Just here. If you want to hold it, I'll, I'll grab a marker. It's um. It's coming up to the top. Yeah, look. I'll reverse her back. See, there she goes. Oh, okay. There is eggs in this frame. I thought I was seeing things at first. Put that back in. <coughs> yeah, if you put that back in gently in. Well, you know, in the middle we'll see you don't scrape the bees. That's it. Right really down slowly. Very gently. That's it. Well done, Bin Lynn. Lynn B lady. You got it. Yeah. Well she got the marigolds on, it's a bit awkward. <laughs> um we'll just have a little quick look at the queen here. That's the one we got. There's a black, quite a black queen actually. Look, Lynn, it's very black. It's quite large, so oh, yeah. it's okay. And it's there was a whole oh. frame of eggs there. I, was, I could make them out. There's this cloud was yeah. hiding. So if we just mark her now with the green of this colour, that's at least that's one we got, Lynn. Isn't it? One. She's very dark, isn't she? Really dark. We make sure we've got ink on there. They got a little bit, one of them was banging me then, that's because we took the Queen out, they can, they soon sense it. That's it. What was that, Lynn? Well, we mark that now. If you can relieve her to dry off a little bit. I'll leave it there a minute, just to dry off. And we'll have a look at that frame again, where we saw them eggs. What was that one? Where's the smoke, Lynn? Yeah. They're, they're, um... A little bit hungry. They are a little bit, because we took the Queen out and they probably sensed it, and we're a little bit overcast. It's uh, a little bit overcast at the minute, even though it's you know it's quite warm. A bit stormy feeling, so I think it always upsets them. Anyway, it's quite interesting that we've got that is absolutely full of eggs, Lynn. Can you see them in there? They're not at the bottom. Can't see them. No, because yeah. you've only got poorly eyes, haven't you, Lynn? Yes, yeah, full of eggs that is. That's right then. On this side, we've got eggs and larvae. That's okay. Mm. There's, no, there's no need to go any further with that because it, it's got loads of room in this hive. We're just looking at one. We've got loads of room because there's hadn't been a queen for ages, so and all that nectar that's in them other. Oh, well, there's all the eggs in here as well. There's actual larvae in here. Oh, that's good, isn't it? They've been laying further down this way. I wonder if I can just show the camera. <coughs> Hopefully, the camera might be able to make it out. It might be able to zoom in somehow and see in the cells that larvae and eggs. Shall we put that back now? Yeah they'll probably move they'll probably move all this nectar that's in these ones like this full of nectar they'll probably move that up into the super for the queen to lay in as she starts to lay a bit more rapidly. Look, 
put these back. I'm not going through the whole hive, there's no need for it, there's loads of room in there. I'll just check we are still. We are still running, yes. I'm gonna release the queen now. Put that put this odd frame back here. You've got the queen here, we'll release it, see if we get it on the camera. I'll move these out of the way. Ooh. I didn't like that. Here you go. I'll move this out now. No, oh, she just run back in. <laughs> she went down the bottom. Mm -hmm. I just caught her going in. That's alright. Calm down, girl. Yeah. That's because of the. Um, The, the overcast linen, isn't it? It's got overcast in it. Yeah. It's stormy. Yeah. Just clean it up a bit so it goes back better. It's the Queen Excluder. Oh, none there, it's just there. Right. Get out of the way. Now we put these. We'll put these back. Here we are, everyone. We're here to see these three nukes. Um, we're looking the one on the right first, that one there. And we go to the middle one, the M one, all three different colours. We'll see whether or not the Queen's have got mated. It's been 16 days since I've put these nukes here with the Virgin Queens in. So it's, I did say I'd wait for two weeks but I couldn't get down here so it's an extra two days I've had so we'll see how they got on. Normally I think statistics say 85% of queens get mated and the other 15% don't make it so probably we've only got two I would say, um, according to the statistics. Here we go then. And then so there's my little, I use that instead of my fingers to hold the queen, purely because I've got a neurological problem where my hands shake a lot. So uh, it's easier for me to use these. So we have a little kid. See if we've got, where's Lynn the bee lady? Can you pass me the smoker, Lynn? Lean B ladies with me. Here we are, thank you. I've put a little bit of smoke in here. Oh, it's, they've actually stuck the uh, crown board down, so I think there's a lot of bees in here, that's why there's some out the front. They look really busy actually on the front. Well, don't they? when it's a bit overcrowded, they do tend to go out the front. There we are. Yeah, it is. Quite a few bees in there. Let's have a little look at them. Right, we're looking for we're looking for eggs and the queen and we want a marker. I've got the marker in, ready. Mm -hmm. I might ask you to hold the flame then if I um oh, if I find the queen. Mind you there, there's a little bit of roaring on this. That's normally when they haven't got a queen, they roar. So, mm, quite noisy, isn't it? Yeah. I would say these haven't got a queen then because they're roaring, but I don't know. It's just nectar. I've got to do it this way for the camera. Mm -hmm. That's nectar, see? All nectar. I can't see a queen in there, but because I want to use this for. I can see some drones. I want to use that for space, so I'll get that. Put that there like that. Since I've got space to open these up. 
have a look in this one. We're looking for eggs and the queen. And there, I think this one probably hasn't got a queen because it is roaring. Full of nectar. Oh, what's that? Give a look. No. No, not in there. That doesn't look... No eggs. No eggs, Lynn, though. It looks like that's a failure, I think. No queen in this one. I'm trying to let the camera see. It's just um, nectar. So the Queen's, the Virgin Queen probably went out, didn't find a way back or something. It was quite unsettled weather, wasn't there? Oh yeah. They were due to fly. It was when we had some bad. So that's no good by the sounds of it. Well, here's the next one, number two. See how we get on with this one. Don't look like many bees in here. Uh, no, not many bees in there. No eggs. No eggs in that one. No eggs in here. No eggs. No, this is another failure by the looks. Two out of three failures, not bad. Don't you love beekeeping? <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> it doesn't always go to plan. That's a good thing about it. You never know. Mm. 
look, that looks like a failure. We can actually unite that. We only want one queen, so hopefully the other one's got one. Yeah. We can unite them all together, if we have. Mm. Okay. We won, are we? It's a it's beekeeping for you. Get these things. The thing is not to worry about these things and they go wrong like that. It does happen in beekeeping, so... We won't worry. That's a definite no, isn't it? A definite no, that lid. But they're not roaring like the other one. But they're not very big, are they? No, there's not a lot of bees in there. Well, I did have two full frames of brood in this one. Unless they've gone out with the Virgin Queen, so we might not know. But there we are. We'll have a look in the third one and see what happens in that one. We are then for number three. <laughs> oh, a lot of bees in there. Busy, busy, busy. This one is not roaring, Lynn, is it? Mm. It's not making a roaring sound. It's, these these plastic throwaway loot boxes, I don't really like them. It's the first time I've ever used them. Uh, Probably all right for transporting bees, but I don't think they're a very good idea for this myself. I don't think I'll probably use them again for this. Just maybe catching a swarm or something. Yeah, have a look at them. They seem a bit calmer, Lynn, and they're not buzzing, they're not mm. making that roaring sound. So they, maybe these have got a queen. Mm. Have a look. Not on there, look. We'll just shake them off on there, Lynn. See? Yeah. These have got a different sort of sound than mm. these. Look there. Look. It's all honey in there. Honey? That is all honey. They've done nothing with the honey frame. Oh, there's the queen yeah. there. Lynn's picked out the queen. It's just there. Uh, it's just around. there. There's eggs in it there. Mm. Yeah, there's eggs in there, Lynn. So that's oh, okay that's to mark that queen. So if you... Um, if you can hold this frame. Let's hold it so the camera can see. There's the queen here. I'm going to... If you hold that end, Lynn. It's just that in yeah. I'll guide the queen into this. Just let her walk in like that. Where's she got this shoes? That's it, she's in there. We'll get this out. I'll just show the you are holding like that in a minute. I'll just show everyone. Um that. You've got that into there, Miss Hughes. She's a bit lively. These, them young queens are quite lively. So we've got eggs and we've got a queen. That's good. Mm -hmm. Pen's over here, John. Well, you I'll just get support them. that and I'll get the pen. In fact, we'll put that back then. We will get in the pen. I'll put that back.
we mark the queen. We've already this is the queen colour. We just push her to the top of that. We just push her, put them off so I can get to see her. We push it until she doesn't quite move, not too hard so that you damage it, just soft because it's got a nice cushion thing there. So my, my hands are a little bit shaky because I've got this neurological thing there. So we do that until we can just see a uh, full wax there is. The, the bee's getting in its way. That's it. Just marking it now, a bit more, I think. A little bit more in there. She's quite elusive, this queen. <laughs> there you go. That's it, that'll do. Do you want too much on her? That was a bit, it's got a bit of time now on that one, but I'm hoping the camera will pick this up. Yeah, I'll go down closer to the camera. I hope you can see it, I've just marked it with a little green dot for the year 2019. While the paint's drying, I'll just leave it down there. While the paint is drying, I'm going to have a look in this other one. It's quite interesting, Lynn, that we only saw eggs in here that's sort of a day old eggs. It's not. So, therefore, maybe the others ain't started laying yet. It's after 16 days, a bit. Now this is full of eggs, this one. So this has been laying for a few days now because it's... There is a... Um, there is eggs everywhere there, absolutely jammy, dodged. That one's definitely done the job alright. Yeah, so that... So we've got a well-mated queen, it's quite big so it's full of... Um, the good stuff for making queen uh, eh, female bees. You see the difference in the sound of this hive. It wasn't roaring at all. It was a different sound and different. So you can notice when they've got a queen that's that's viable. So these these two we can easily. The other two I can easily combine with this, make one big hive now, be okay. So out of the three we got one, never mind. I'm happy with one. It's uh, experience, isn't it? It's all good fun beekeeping, good for your mind, good for the planet. Look how lovely she's marked now. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do now is release her. Paint's dried. Oh, oh it's all right. Still in there. <laughs> I'll just show you. Still there, look. I'm going to release her onto the top of this now. We'll get it like that. The camera might better see her going in. She should just walk down in off of, the, off of that pipe in a minute. What do I do with that then? I find it in there. She's not walking out yet. Uh, she's being fed by some other bees. I wonder if I could get the camera in close to see that. I'm going to try and zoom in a bit for you. Mm -hmm. You might be able to see her walk out in a minute. She's at the back there.
She doesn't seem to want to walk out. <laughs> what happens, isn't it? But we can just tip that up. Yeah, a bit of encouragement. Yeah. She's walked down there, she goes. She walked down in then. Did you see it then? Yeah. That's all right. That's, the, that's her in. She, did, she spied it and then went. We didn't lose her in the grass. Hey? We didn't lose her in the grass. No. Definitely got her in there. I saw them out then. There we are, so we can um, say that that one was a success, can't we? Yeah, that one's okay. It will need moving into a bigger hive soon. I'll have to do it a bit rapid. Because it's already growing cone, look. But she's got a few empty frames in there still. Well, a little bit of room to lay. She's laying all right, isn't she? sat down. So that was quite interesting and informative to me and hopefully to you as you was watching. Well it's quite interesting that I had 50% overall so I had four didn't I? Four queen uh, virgin queens and only two of them ended up getting mated and returning so 50% it's lower than the national average but my excuse <laughs> if I got one is that um, if you look on the weather forecast when I put the Virgin Queens in I think it was for about seven days it was almost continual rain it, it, it even went into ten days it was quite bad so I, I would put it down to the weather they're not getting out and doing what they should be doing at a certain time. So the temperatures was wrong for raising queens and really that's what it is. I should have waited until further on in the season a little bit when, the, when I could guarantee the good weather. At the end of this video, hopefully, I'm going to put a clip on there, on it, if I can manage, of some wildlife that I found near my hives because I've got a few wildlife cameras about. So. I hope it was informative for some people and I really love you uh, commenting, commenting on my video channel about good or bad, I don't mind. And thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon. <laughs> bye bye.